Hello everyone, Prince of Sin here. Happy 4th of July 2021. Texas Gia is not with me this time. She is up in Texas taking care of her mom's old place. Yes, when her mom passed, she inherited a house, but it needs a lot of fixing up. Happy 4th of July, Texas G. I miss you. Moving on, we're going to do like a classic basic barbecue. I'm doing traditional hamburgers and hot dogs, but with a little bit of a twist. And let me show you what I've done. So what I've done is I'm using Hebrew National Hot Dogs. You can use any hot dogs you want. And I have poked holes in them. Let me show you. Basically along the whole sides there about four, four times. And I've let them soak in this butter bath for a good hour or so. And in that butter bath I have added a little bit of garlic powder. Now you're saying butter bath, why? Well, something I learned from the pit boss. Thank you pit boss boys. Butter bath will make the hot dogs a lot more crispier on the grill, and grilled is the best way to cook them. Now over here I have some thought out beef patties, all 100%, 80-20 beef patties, and some frozen garlic butter with some seasoning on them. Now, I'm going to show you the little trick that I learned when I put them on the grill. With that note, let's go out to my new grill. So oh, there it is, my new grill with a side burner now. We're going to put that to use right now. Put it on low heat. Because what's burgers without bacon? Come on. That's, e that's easy. They're dough. We've even got a warming rack. There's the old grill. You can have it. So how we're going to do this, we're going to very carefully open the grill, place our burgers on it, take our refrigerated butter, put it on top and it will melt it. Close the lid and just let it do its magic. I'll show you the end results when it's done. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're looking for. We'll turn the heat down just a little bit. Nice flame so it sears those burgers. Makes them nice. That butter will melt with all those seasonings. Oh yeah. It's very good. Borrow the phrase from Applebee's, we're eating good in the neighborhood. And what's a burger without cheese? I'll tell you what it is. Boring. Yeah, bacon's cooking up good. We'll finish the burgers and then we'll get to the dogs. But first, we'll get the buns going here. Take your bun. Did it, did it, did it, whoops. Don't worry, that's it. Oh, this thing, folks. We're going to borrow the garlic butter from the hot dogs. Brush a little on there. Just like that. And put them on the grill. Toast them up. Let them get a little hot. Check our bacon, looking good. Keep the frying. Okay, you get nice and crisp. Uh, 
There we go. Turn the heat up just a little bit. Buns are done. Just want them lightly toasted, folks. Not overdone. All right, and these burgers are done. Well, what are we waiting for? Now, with the hot dogs, you want to keep a constant eye on them because you don't want them to burn. Well, you just keep turning them until they're a nice... grill colored and you can see why I put butter on them it'll make them more juicier and crispier look at my bacon burgers isn't that great there we go folks my contribution to the 4th of July two hot dogs soaked in butter garlic and then grilled Ketchup and mustard. Don't judge me. That's how I like my hot dogs. And a bacon double cheeseburger. See you soon on uh, July 9th when I will be performing my last fireworks show out at the Avi. For now, this is Prince of Sin saying goodbye for now. It's time to eat.